Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard episode 113. So I haven't actually uploaded in a little bit and it was a bit weird and I haven't been, like basically today, I, I'm, we'll, I'll get into more of it as a lot when we get through the video, but just to start off, um, yesterday I didn't do much Supercard, didn't really do many videos, today I was helping a friend move out uh, from there, from her apartment to her new apartment, so that took up a bit of the day, and that will be uh, another topic for later on, base. anyway. So we pulled Rich Swan uh, yesterday, I think, during the Team RTG, I will show you how we did in the Team RTG, but yeah, I did, uh, I've updated my new pool thing, as you guys can tell, up there. But yeah, time to show you guys Team RTG, and it's a huge disappointment, and uh, we need to get this team sorted out ASAP, or the whole me wanting to do a team thing is just not going to last. So we need to we need to do something ASAP about this team. One, we need to fill a spot in the team. So I said I would let you guys know when there's spots available. There are spots available, but you must be at least in WrestleMania tier, WrestleMania 33 tier. If you're in Ultimate Plus Plus, and you've got like um, you know, if maybe if you don't have an Ultimate Pro Diva, but if you have some good, you know, if you're an Ultimate Plus Plus, we'll make the argument and we'll see. But we're really looking for players in WrestleMania tier right now. So anyone in WrestleMania tier 33, not WrestleMania normal, WrestleMania 33 tier, let me know in the comments. Tell me you've um, you've requested to join, and I'll accept as soon as this team event is over. The next thing is D2. If you're watching this video, D2, fuck you. Uh, that's the first thing. Um, so close to kicking you, man, but as you're my homeboy, <laughs> cringe. Um, I'm not going to kick you, dude. I demoted you to member because this is just not okay. You know, I know a lot of people didn't put in a good shift, including me, uh, but it's not an excuse to get zero points on uh, on this game. I know you're playing your MLB shitty game and other shit, but mate, if you're on a team, you better play. So that's why you've been demoted. So we only got, to, we didn't even get the elite card. It's embarrassing, thank goodness. It's only Roman Reigns, and no, we're not missing out on a lot. Apart from that, I've got King Ring rewards, nothing too interesting, it's just an ultimate card, please be Alexa Bliss, who are we going to get? It's Rhino! Yes, boys! I'm actually happy with that, as you guys can tell, because that is a pro, and I can finally get it out of my cat, and just one more thing to get done in the catalogue for ultimate tiers, you guys know I want to try and finish all the ultimate, pro and single. Um, Baron Corbin as well will be probably pro in the next video. He's got like nine games left on speed, and he has got four left in speed on this one. So it's weird how both on speed, but anyways, um, we'll play a couple games there. And also, uh, yeah, I am sorry, f I am sorry for not uploading. You know, normally the daily Supercard episode has been three days, but WrestleMania and then something really disappointing happened to me, guys. I basically just can't stream anymore on YouTube now. I'm not sure if I've been banned from streaming on YouTube for a certain amount of time. I don't think so, because it, nothing's telling me I am. It's just every time I go on live streaming on YouTube, it plays back my other video, my other stream of WrestleMania. When I was it said that stream was um, had copyright shit in it, but it, did, I, it hasn't given me a copyright strike. So I'm not sure if maybe in a week, maybe two weeks, maybe I have to wait a month. I have no idea, but for now I can't stream on YouTube. So if there's going to be Supercard streams, they are going to be on Twitch. I'll leave my link to Twitch, guys, in the description. I know it's been a long time since I've streamed on Twitch, but um, or I do stream on Twitch, but it's very weird. I have no set schedules, and most of the time when I'm streaming just Supercard, I will do it on the YouTube channel. So it's going to be a bit different for the next couple of weeks. I hope I can get streaming as soon as I can back on YouTube, because you guys know how much I personally love streaming on YouTube. Um, and apart from that, thank you guys again for the amazing support. WrestleMania, um, as I wasn't able to live stream it on YouTube because, like, I wasn't gonna. Sh I sh basically showed the kickoff on the screen, and someone told me I was allowed to. Apparently, I wasn't. Anyway, whatever. Um, so yeah, I wanted to use my awesome thumbnail for like my WrestleMania reaction. So I quickly made a video, my reaction to the Hardy Boys. It's a bit cringy video, as some of you guys said in the comments. I think. But yeah, that's all good. Let's get back into these daily Supercard videos. So Fusion Chamber, I opened a Fusion Chamber while we were watching, while I was watching WrestleMania. I will show you guys right now who I got. If I haven't trained it away like a fucking idiot, like, oh, I am such an idiot if I trained it away. I probably have, haven't I? Knowing my, sh no, thank God I haven't locked that Cesaro in. That's who we got. Rich Swan as well, as, as was my pull. Um, that Rhino finally can go. 
this Randy can go. These are all the ultimate singles I have yet to pro, who will be pros in the catalog for me. I've pulled a couple of elites in the last couple of days as well. I uh, pulled Natalia, which is catalog, so locking her in. That should be unlocked. Okay. And I've been pulling a lot of hardens as well, so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool that I have to play less now that I'm in WrestleMania Plus Plus. I should be getting more peoples than if I was in WrestleMania Plus WrestleMania. So that's pretty cool. Let's get into a couple wild mode games. I'm sorry for the really long intro, just me talking. There's a couple of things obviously I needed to let you guys know. Um, just about why, you know, streams and all that, and about the team, especially about the team. The team news is extremely important. Um, so, yeah, hit me up about that, guys, if any of you guys know or want to be part of the team. But obviously, please refrain from all the comments being like, oh, I'm in SummerSlam tier, but I promise I'll grind or stuff. We just can't, okay? It was already hard enough in RTG. Um, so, yeah, it's just not going to be possible for our lower tier members in the team for now. So, yeah, just, just let me know. If you guys are in WrestleMania, and if you guys obviously want to be in the team, because not everyone who is in WrestleMania team, you know, lots of you guys might already have teams and stuff. So let me know on that. And uh, yeah, let's play. Uh, let's play a couple games of not of not Royal Rumble mode. That's for sure, mate. Let's play Summer. Let's let's play some World mode. So yeah, next event will be RTG for the second Brock Lesnar, which should be starting tomorrow. The preview should be up. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm a bit confused when all the events go up now, but. We should be getting it fairly soon. Hopefully the undercard is a pro. I've got a lot of WrestleMania singles now, which is really awesome. Um, I can definitely see it be, being a rich swan, so that could be really cool. Two RTGs in a row, two pros, that'd be awesome. Um, but maybe my luck isn't obviously as good. Like I can see it being Brian Kendrick, which is actually one of the is one of the worst in like the top... I think I've got like all the worst cards, except from Brian Kendrick now. Uh, my, two, my, two, my my I got three peoples and a freebie. My freebie was Ken Shamrock, which is now pro, which is awesome. But then my pulls after that, uh, Cedric Alexander, bad card, but lucky because it was a pro. And then Bailey, which was awesome because it was a female, and now Rich Swan, which is again another bad one. But I won't be complaining if it's a pro. Um, so yeah, uh, let's have a look quickly. Look, so James Ellsworth, the worst. I'm going. I'm only doing males. So I've got James Ellsworth. I've got Cedric. Uh, I've got Rich Swan, so Brian Kendrick I haven't got. I've got Ty Dillinger, I've got Rusev. I've got Baron Corbin, I've got Neville. <laughs> That's like the 10 words, so funny. So I'm only missing a Brian Kendrick, so it'd be pretty funny if um, if the undercard for this was a Brian Kendrick, but hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's not. Uh, a Rich Swan would be absolutely perfect. A Shinsuke Nakamura would be perfect. A Bailey would be perfect, but... Come on, let's be real. AJ Styles, of course, um, Seth Rollins, uh, Goldberg, Triple H, all of those would be good. But I'm guessing it's going to be quite a shit card. I'm quite surprised to actually put Roman Reigns in, but I'm guessing as he was the main event, he won the match and all of that. You know, I haven't even given you guys my WrestleMania review yet. But yeah, I'll give you guys a little... I'm not sure if I'll do a separate video of it or maybe speak to it more in length tomorrow because we've done a lot of talking, not much gameplay, and, you know, try and... Dish it, well, dish it out on uh, on multiple episodes, so people want, who want to see some gameplay don't get bored of just me rambling on about things they don't really care about. So, uh, on the whole, I thought WrestleMania was excellent. Um, I'll get more into it then tomorrow. Okay, we'll we'll go into maybe a couple matches that I enjoyed, a couple matches I enjoyed less. So, excellent. It's up to you guys to see what I mean by excellent. Like, what is the definition of excellent? I thought it was great. I thought it was a great WrestleMania. Uh, the best one in a long time. Maybe the best one I've personally ever seen. Because I've only been watching WrestleMania since WrestleMania 27? Yeah, WrestleMania 27, I think, is the first WrestleMania I saw. And then, I, obviously, I went back to watch a load of others once I got into WWE. But live and just, what you know, since I've, I've been watching WWE, I think this is the best I've seen. So, yeah, I'll get, as I said, get more into it tomorrow. So this uh, Baron Corbin should have won seven more games, seven more games in speed, and this one has four. So definitely, we'll definitely get Baron Corbin pro for the next episode. Let's get into a couple more games, and then we'll end the episode here. Um, yeah, as I, well, I've pretty much covered everything I wanted to cover. So speed, let's go with that one. This is the one that's flip, got four left, I think. Which is pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, as I said, I spent the whole day today um, helping, having a friend move out. And that was all. That was good, you know. It was got, got me doing some exercise, which was pretty good. And then, because um, the friend I went to help out was my brother's ex-girlfriend, so it's a bit weird. But anyway, 
Uh, my brother took it, take, took and taken some furniture to, to hers, and we we just went to get it back and helped out, and, you know, throw some other things because that anyway. Um, and one of the one of the pieces of furniture he lent was really good table, uh, great size, and I was like, that is going to be part of my setup. Yes, because I used to have two tables, and if you've seen my setup video, you'll know like I had two tables like 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 next to each other to make one big table, but that was too long. One table wasn't long enough. So this table is like in between and it's perfect. It gives me more room in my room. If that makes it, yeah, more room in my room. Um, so yeah, it's that, it took it took a long time. I was transferring everything. I did a bit of cable management. I tried and doing, setting up a couple of different things. So yeah, the day's been just really taken up by all those kind of things you just do, you know? Um, and that I haven't been doing too much of recently, you know? Uh, so it felt good to actually do something other than just sit here and just play games all day. Um, yeah, and then I met up with a couple of friends, and that's that's it. That's that's where the day went. It's like what almost one o'clock here. It like five to one, so I'm not gonna have too much of a late night. Smackdown, obviously tonight. Uh, Nakamura maybe day. Oh my god, I've got Raw to review. I've got Mania to review. I even want to talk about NXT. I want to talk about. Oh god, I think I'm gonna make a separate video talking about the whole WrestleMania weekend, including Raw and Smackdown. And just a nice big long talk where all all all, all the, the hardcore view, fans and viewers of you know who watch my channel. I don't like calling you fans because I don't know it makes it makes it weird. Um, because I I don't I don't see it like that. I don't see it like that. And it I don't know. I, it's I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything. That's why I'm saying I don't I don't like calling you guys my fans because I think more of you guys are just friends and people who I get to know and shit. So anyway. You guys who are out there who do watch my videos, the ones who like to listen to my point of views about wrestling and what I think should have happened and all of that, I might do just a separate video for that. That way, people who just want to see Supercard can come to these episodes. But yeah, guys, it's been a really um, productive episode, actually. It has been a productive episode because all of this I needed to tell you guys about the whole streaming, about the team. That is important. Remember, the team, please let me know, guys, down below in the comments about the team. Um, if you guys, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll might be, I might be a bit generous and accept a couple Ultimate Plus Plus players if really there aren't any WrestleMania players who want to join the team. But I really want to make this a really good team, top notch, uh, getting all the event cards, not only in Team Ring Dom, but also in Team RTG, which obviously, yes, is harder. I would even say it's much harder. You really need to put in the hours um, for Team RTG. Uh, well, it depends. You need to put in the hours, but if everyone plays and just everyone does, the, it's not, it's not, it's not an impossible task. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much. I've been me. You guys have been awesome as usual, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Till then, peace out, and most importantly, take care.